Hello everyone, this video is about CAD modeling of a modified version of TPMS primitive lattice structures which usually called mechanical metamaterials. For the references I'm going to use my recent publication which is a research article at Advanced Engineering Materials entitled Experimental and Simulation Investigation on Energy Absorption of CU Casting Lattice Structures During Compression. Okay. Firstly, let's see a schematic about what we are going to do in this video. Okay, firstly, we're creating a, a unit cell and then pattern if unit cell in two directions to shape this plane. And this plane will uh, be uh, patterned uh, to the z axis to shape this cube. Okay, for the dimensional references, I'm going to use table one and figure three and uh, it's worth mentioning that we are going to model CULS3 with a diameter of 3 millimeters. Okay. As always, I'm going to use SolidWorks. Let's create a new part. Okay, start by choosing top plane and drew a circle with a diameter of 3 millimeters. And then we are going to extrude this uh, circle to for about 5.5 millimeters. Okay, 5.5 millimeters. And let's choose the right plane for our uh, for the second strut. Okay, I usually use center lines to give dimensional accuracy to my modeling. As you can see, it's very useful. Let's create another circle uh, with a diameter of three millimeters. Okay. And for the second and third strut, we must use two directional boss extrudes uh, because uh, it's a better way to draw this structure. Okay, 2.75 millimeters on direction one and 2.75 millimeters on direction uh, on direction two okay for the third uh, strut i'm going to use front plane let's do our uh, circle here sets the dimensions to three millimeters and again same as the uh, second strut, it will be a two direction bus extrude with 2.75 millimeter for each direction. Okay, as you can see, we have created our unit cell. So let's pattern this unit cell by using uh, feature tab and linear pattern. Okay, let's choose the first direction as the front plane and we should set our spacing uh, the same amount as our height so 5.5 millimeter and five instances in this direction and also i'm going to use direction two with right plane and 5.5 spacing and five instances. I uncheck the features and faces, check the bodies, use this lattice body as you can see. You can have a preview. And look, our first plane is created. So let's um, pattern this plane through the z-axis to reach the desired structure. Okay. Again, we use linear pattern direction top and we don't need direction two so I check feature and faces use the bodies and I usually use the body tab but you can choose your desired bodies from your workspace it's much easier for the structures that are not complex but for complex structures you better to use the solid body folder here so I use this and add the structures and as you can see our 
final structure is created, which can be used for 3D printing. And if you're interested in seeing the 3D printing of this structure, you can see it at my additive manufacturing channel, which I'm going to mention below this video. And also, I'm going to put the link to the article. So um, don't hesitate on asking questions. Have a nice day.